Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw an interesting example based on the surface area of right circular cylinder. Today, in this video, we will see some more interesting examples based on this. Thomas, painter uncle looks upset. Let us go ask him why he is upset. Yes, yes, let's go. Painter uncle, why are you upset? Children, I got the job of coloring this pillar. I take 200 rupees to paint one square meter. But this pillar is cylindrical. Hence, I cannot figure out how much money I should take for coloring this column. That's it, painter uncle. We can help you. We can find the answer to your problem through mathematics. Did you understand what this means, Thomas? Absolutely. That means it's math time. Manas, to help uncle, we have to first find the curved surface area of this pillar. Then we can multiply it by the rate per square meter and find the total cost of coloring the pillar. The height of the pillar is 3 meters and its diameter is 35 centimeters. Thomas, do you remember the formula for the curved surface area of cylinder? Yes, Manas. The curved surface area of the cylinder is pi dh, where d and h are the diameter and height of the cylinder, respectively. Well done, Thomas. Now, we have to write the diameter of the pillar, 35 cm, in place of d, and the height of the pillar, 3 m, or 300 cm instead of h, respectively, and solve. On solving in this way, we can see that the curved surface area of the cylindrical pillar is 33,000 square centimeters or 33,000 divided by 10,000, that is 3.3 square meters. Yes, Manas. And if we multiply this by per square meter rate of coloring, 200 rupees, in this way, you will find that 660 rupees would be the cost to paint this cylindrical pillar. <laughs> oh wow, Thomas! Let us return to our world now. Painter uncle will be waiting for us. Both the friends told painter uncle the cost of coloring the pillar and painter uncle thanked them for their help. Friends, in this video, we saw another interesting example based on surface area of right circular cylinder. So hopefully, you will now have a good understanding of the surface area of the right circular cylinder.